Namaste. Love and light, everyone. <coughs> Welcome back to another reading with me, Star Seed Tarot 444. We can get to our readings and so much more. I see you all love and light, abundance, and prosperity. And if you guys would like to donate to me on my channel or follow me on Instagram, please check my description box down below. And if you are new to the channel, I'm to to you. And my beautiful star seed, please subscribe and like the video, comment, express how this reading may resonate for you. Okay, so this is not going to be a long video reading <laughs> because I am cooking some food. So let's just get into it, okay? You got people watching you, using their third eye to spy on you. All right, they're jealous of you, okay, and you'll come up here. People are trying to slow down your come up, delay your come up. But you're protected, okay? I'm hearing you're a guardian here, okay? And you are also protected, all right, as well, by guardians. Yeah, by your ancestors, your spirit guides. Your ancestors are guide, guiding you down the right path. And you are very powerful. Your intuition, your psychic gifts are very powerful. I feel like there's energies out, like around, out there around you that want you to, like, take a break from what you're doing. Not really take a break, but, like, end whatever it is that you're doing. All right, and it's like they're trying to like see you some type of karma. All right, teach you some type of lesson here. They're trying to teach you some type of lesson through like spiritual attacks. All right, or just plotting against you. All right, this is someone that wants to come up and they want to prove you wrong. All right, and prove themselves right, as in like you're not ready to do whatever it is that you're pursuing. All right, they just jealous of you overall. It could be a million reasons, but that's the main thing. Is like they're trying to teach you a lesson. Okay. And they're also trying to prove themselves right by proving that they're better than you, I guess. There's a masculine energy that's thinking about you, that's pulling on your energy. I feel like it's like um hot and cold with this person. Yeah, it's hot and cold with them. This person is very hot and cold here. They have a strong attachment to you, all right? They want a family with you and everything, but at the same time, they be coming for you. So like I said, it's hot and cold. It's best of y'all to stay at, stay at a distance. But they're tugging on you energetically. This person, whoever this masculine is, they feel like they have a plan here to either bring y'all back together or some shit like that. I don't know. Or I, I don't know. Because it, it seems like they're not moving on. I don't see it. It's like when they close their eyes, they see you. It's crazy. I feel like you was meant to heal this um this this man this masculine or whoever it is for you, all right. I feel like y'all y'all was supposed to build a legacy together. Y'all was supposed to build um you know and this masculine was supposed to make a lot of money with you. That's what I'm getting. Y'all was supposed to build a legacy and there was an attachment, a karmic attachment that could have ruined that, that could have destroyed that, all right. And I feel like um you're walking away from that shit. You walked away from it already. This person needs to walk away. And I feel like even after you walked away. All right, this karmic energy could have still been attacking you. All right, I feel like there's a lot of people that do see you evil eye as well. Even people, like, not just this karmic energy, any karmic, your friends, family, you walked away from them and they're still, they were still energetically attacking you, still stealing from you energetically, spiritually. All right. Trying to do spell work to keep you tied up, to hold you back from your life purpose and you being an earth angel or earth guide or a healer. Okay, a light worker, sending you power moments and stuff. Just doing way too much, sending you so much distraction so you won't pursue your goals. They was even doing spell work to stop you from making money, okay? So you, you know, to unmotivate you so you won't make any money. You be getting that unmotivational spell. Unmotivational spell, I think it's called. I don't know. It's just a spell to make you unmotivated so you won't be passionate, all right? And it's, it's all in all supposed to result to you not making any money. You're not doing anything, all right? I feel like, um... The ancestors got your back here. Something about the throat chakra. You could have been praying. You could have been praying to your ancestors. All right, because these people are trying to cause you like anxiety. Hold on. I feel like um I forgot what I was saying. Oh well, let me just keep going. Your throat chakra is strong, so when you call out for spirit, they come to you. When you speak, when you speak things out into existence, it it comes. Okay, and you have money. You have like a contract here. It's, it's like it's a part of your your soul's journey, and it's a contract that's written up for you, all right, to have a lot of money in the sense of your destiny, like it, it leads it, it leads to success, all right. That's a soul contract for you to be successful, all right. That's a part of your life plan, your path. Your spirit guide set you up real nice, okay. 
you are supposed to be rich or have a lot of money, be successful, financially stable, not unstable. These people out here trying to be scared to make you unstable. Money, please don't interrupt me. So let me turn the lights on. Okay, so let me start pulling. Your intuition is strong. You know exactly who be attacking you, and I feel like they get so mad when you find out the truth, but they need to stop doing it. Let me do one more shuffle. And I feel like people be coming for you and your intuition, like they be trying to block it all the time. They be doing so with the block your intuition because you be seeing the truth. All right, we have Yin Yang coming out. Soul contract. So something is ordained with that contract in Yin Yang. It's almost like... You and someone are meant to be. You guys are meant to come together. Okay? Regardless of when that is, just know that you guys are meant to be. You and someone. All right? You and this person may not be together right now, okay? Or um, y'all are holding back from one another, but I feel like you guys may come back together here because you guys could be twin flames. All right. That's too many cards. Spirit. The spirit have a lot to say. Yeah, woman holding the heart. There's a soul contract written for you and, and this person to be together. I'm getting a lot of soul contract energy. There was karmics that was writing up soul contracts to change your life. All right, and universe and spirit is, is getting your life back to how it originally was when you were first born before these karmics started changing your life. Okay, I feel like you and this person are meant to be together and you guys are going to come together again. Make sure you continue to wear your evil eye protection. Okay, Spirit wants me to tell y'all that. I feel like something happened between you and you guys, and it happened for a reason. Maybe because there's some healing or shadow work that's involved that you and this person may need to do. Maybe you guys need to separate to figure out, you know, what it is that y'all want in life. All right? Like, you know, what I want to do with my life, what they want to do with their life type of energy. Well, what you want to do with your life and what they do. We have attachment and, con and contract. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of things. But, like, these karmics were a part of your destiny as well. You was meant to teach them lessons just like how they taught you lessons. You gained a lot of wisdom. All right? You received your karmic reward. You received karmic justice. And you're moving forward. All right? These karmics are below you. No offense to them. But it's only because they're not healing the way properly. They're not healing the right thing. They're not focused on, on, them, on themselves or their healing. There was definitely a karmic energy that separated you two. I see that. Okay? And we have crown chakra. This person hates you because you're intuitive. That's what I'm getting in, that you're mature, all right? You know, you have a mature mindset. You're not immature, okay? I'm getting your consciousness is, is like, elevated. Whoever that karmic energy is, he or she was jealous of you because of that, because of your crown chakra here. I feel like you attract a lot of love. I feel like you attracted someone that was on the same level as you consciously, spiritually, and it was a karmic energy that, um... <clears throat> came in between that that was 3d it was like a 3d karmic all right that was trying to lower you and your person all right this is definitely about love somebody did spell work on your connection on your romantic life to keep put you and your person in, in a situation where you're both stuck stagnant you know and there's a lot of lies and, and deceitful energy for like um Spirit was, was guiding this connection, too, guiding you out of it to show you the truth. Yeah, Spirit was also guiding this connection, and Spirit showed you the truth, what was going on, okay? And it's and Spirit told you to hold back from this person and to, hold, and to focus on your own blossom and abundance for now until they spiritually find themselves. Because this is someone that, whoever your person is, they allow someone else to make choices and decisions for them, even spiritually, even spiritual choices, and they need to um clean that up on their own. And they can't try to use you to get out of it. Yeah, it was just a lot of heavy energy sent towards y'all connection. I see it with the storm morning and daughter romance. It's just a lot of it. And I feel like most of the spells was to stagnate y'all from coming together and, and to, you know, prolong the connection. So, yeah, just unnecessary shit. And it was using spirits, demons, to do this. It was doing spirit, using spirits to do their little dirty work, okay? Conjuring up the ancestors giving offerings to the ancestors to do bullshit, okay, to, to destroy your connection and to hold you back from making money, all right, to keep you stuck, so sad, I feel like all that is wrapping up here, but people was putting hexes on your money, all right, and I'm here on your spell work, if you do like manifestation spells, people was putting hexes on your spells so they won't come to you instantly, because you're a master manifester, we already came to that conclusion, 
that you guys are master manifestors and a lot of people be jealous of you because of that all right you're a healer as well you can make money off your healing abilities your money is also being healed all right if your person is changing their money will also be healed because what i'm getting is that this karmic energy was jealous of you and your person you and your person poten potential any chance someone around this karmic you know, anytime they get a chance to do better and to elevate in life, he or she becomes jealous of it. Become jealous of the fact that this person is doing better than them. They also they was also jealous of the fact that you and your person was healing and y'all was happy. And it's like y'all was supposed to come together and make a lot of money. All right. And this karmic ruined it. Okay. Because she lied or he lied. All right. And convince your person otherwise. Okay. This is someone that was like the karmic would say you're you're not all that spiritual you're a fraud you're a liar, you know they were saying they were just saying a lot of hurtful things. I feel like your your person is very confused. This person your DM could have been could be a karmic now, okay, because of this person and now it's like all they want to do is may just sit around and just use you for money. That's what I'm getting a vibe. It's like y'all was supposed to come together and heal, but now it's like this person mindset is, is just to use you and to stress you out. All right, financially, that's probably what they was doing. They was under spell work, making them do these things. Excuse me, if your person was, like, acting unusual. I feel like you guys love making money. Your person love making money. Okay? You guys are, like, two peas in the pod. That's what I'm getting. And you guys were both guided towards each other to have a fresh start, a new beginning. I do see y'all coming together here soon. But um, for some of you guys, if it's meant to be. If it's meant to be, I do see it's meant, meant to be for some of you guys, but this is not going to resonate with everyone, okay? I just see a lot of anxiety and stress towards a new beginning. I feel like this person has been stressed out ever since you walked away, and they really want to manifest a new beginning with you. It's like they feel like you walked away from y'all new beginning I had, but you walked away because there was an a, a envious person in between y'all connection that was sending y'all spirits and backlash I'm getting. So with that backlash, I'm getting, like, the magic that they were sending, it was supposed to cause y'all to even have arguments and fights and stuff like that. It was, this person was giving, like, money to, like, demons, or well, paying demons, giving offerings to demons and bad spirits and shit. And arguing the Michael had to come to them and protect you from those demons. Your your ancestors and your spirit guide tied this person up, yes, but, you know, they still evil. I do see, the, well, I feel like spirit tied up the entity. I feel like this person was still going out and doing spell work even after the, the spirit got defeated by your ancestors. All right, we have patience here. Spirit is saying, just be patient. This person is going to receive their karma. All right, their karma is following them. All right, because they were doing spell work on your person. Some of you guys, this person lives with your person, and this could be like family. All right, and that they're like right there, so they're like open to, to get attacked. Okay, there's hella hexes. They keep you and this person apart. Hella hexes. Okay, I feel like spirit can clear this up, but it's only if you want to. All right, or only only if this person chooses you. That's the only way they shit their energy will clear up spiritually is if they choose you. They can't choose outside energy. They have to choose you in this connection. And choosing you is is better in themselves. Not not to say like you are this this person knight in shining shining armor or you know you are the reason why their life is better. But you guys are meant to be. You guys are kind of part. All right, you meant to heal this person. This person is meant to heal you. All right? So, you, like I said, them choosing you will help better themselves. Because this situation is, is toxic with this attachment, this karmic attachment here. We have strategy. Yeah, and, and magician here, the magician in the mirror. So, what I'm getting is this, this karmic was doing spell work, like I said, to change your life. But it's like they had a plan. It was calculated. It's like they knew exactly how to separate you and your person. They do exactly how to keep your person under their control to listen to them. And they took advantage of, you know, whatever love your person had for this karmic energy. Because this could be someone that's close to them. It could even be like a friend, okay, cousin, whatever, family. They was planning everything with magic. Every plot they had they did it with magic they used magic okay to call and it, and it caused you a lot of anxiety because you felt this karmic energy doing magic on you because some of you guys your dm could have been doing love spells on you two to bring y'all 
two back together in the midst of this karmic energy doing spells. All right, I'm hearing love spells. So the, this karmic energy was doing love spells on you too to confuse you in love. We said that already. And the confusion intuition. I feel like this person was doing love spells on you so you would question if your person is really your twin flame or not. It had, it like it had you questioning like is this person really your twin? It's like you didn't even see this person as your twin anymore. I'm hearing. You. Yeah, and I feel like spirit had to guide you out of that situation and and tell you that it's not you, it's them. You're gonna be a rich woman or man, all right, in the near future. Spirit is is tying up these karmics and wrapping up the rest of these karmic cycles that's attached to you. All right, but for the most part, you're going to be straight. Nobody can mess up your future here. Your future is straight. I don't know. You're you're protected from these these karmics, these devils. You're protected from them. I feel like somebody is strongly stealing your energy as well. Like y'all been dealing with a lot of energy harvesters. These envious ass people stealing your energy. That's sad. All right, because you're strong. I'm here stealing your strength. It's stealing your strength and your spiritual strength as well. Feeling all your spiritual essence and your energy, even your person. I picked this up earlier, all right, but I had a hard time putting the message out, but now I'm saying it now. Somebody was also feeling energy from your person. Whoever this dark high priestess is that was sending y'all towers and storm warning, she was also um, feeling energy from your person. Rather he know it or not, or she know it or not. Get one more shuffle. You're protected by Archangel Michael. Period. And Archangel Michael is holding these people back. The more they mess with you in your journey, in your life, your love life. All right. Your life is being healed, though. Everything around you is being healed because you're going through an upgrade. Your finances for sure are being healed. People are, it's like they're really using like the saints to like dim your, um, to drain your finances here and to dim your life. And they're using the saints to give all of your blessings to them. Like they know how to do that shit. And they was doing it on you. They know how to cut cords and all type of shit like that. They were trying to cut the cord between you and spirit. And spirit kicking their ass. Spirit, the saints are doing everything that this person was doing to you. T onto this person. They're attacking this person. Because you're, you're an earth guide. You're divinely guided and protected. And I feel like, you know, this person noticed. And they're doing spell work to, like, blind you. Blind your third eye from knowing that you are earth guide or earth angel so you won't you know pers pursue your mission you ha you're like, it's like you're on a mission people is like almost trying to stop you from completing your mission so like a lot of people did spell work for that to manifest against you here so everything's being balanced what goes up comes down okay with this angel of balance everything that this karmic did to you is coming back on to them tenfold all right this karmic got a lot of karma following him or her but we got a woman holding a coin out here. It could be a woman. You're super powerful. and You're gaining all your power back. You're getting it all back. And a whole new beginning is going to be manifested for you. It's like, yeah, balance. Everything's just balancing out because you've done the right thing. For some of you guys, you and your person done the right thing. It was just, a, it could have been family. We would talk about family, all right? But in that video, when we said that um the family broke up, you and your DM, that video of the DM was a part of the nonsense. And this one, for some of you guys, your DM had nothing to do with it. He was just under some mind control spell work, okay, that made him act a certain way. Just take how it resonates. It's a, I feel like it's a lot of things that happen for, for a lot of you guys. It happened differently. But it's like somebody opened up many portals for things to manifest in their favor. Okay, but I feel like you're still coming out on top with your abundance. I don't know why. Don't stress about your abundance here. You're stressing because you feel these people trying to take it. Just walk away and focus on um your plan here, the plan that you have to make you victorious, which is you still walking your path. Don't give up like these people want you to. You are the goddess of the moon, okay? You are the sun. You are appreciated, and you are rich, and you are loved. Don't allow anyone to hold you back. Those spells that can make you not motivated and shit, that shit's going to backfire on their ass. They sad as hell. Whoever doing this, I'm getting, it could be like a group of people that's separately doing shit to you, all right? Outside of this reading, they all going to get karma, okay? Your love, your angels love you, love you here. These people are trying to block your third eye so you won't see spirit, communicate with spirit here. So spirit won't come to you. 
Yeah, it's like they're also trying to, it's almost like they're trying to blind spirit from finding you. All right, from coming to you. And Archangel Michael, they could be using Archangel Michael as well. But Archangel Michael is protecting your ancestors. That's what I'm getting because they could be attacking your ancestors too. And Archangel Michael is protecting you from um that spell. And protecting ancestors from being blocked from seeing you. All right, and and they're protecting your, um he's protecting your new beginning. Your baby as well. Okay, yeah, I feel like you're speaking a lot out into existence and it's manifesting. You're protecting time infinite, okay? <laughs> infinite protection. Again, the spirits appreciate you. The spirits appreciate you. All right, I gotta go. And if you guys were in a healthy relationship before somebody came and messed it up, you are in. Hold on, money. Wait, give me a second. I'm almost done. Like I was saying, if your person got attacked innocently, your ancestors are protecting your person as well. Okay? The love you have for them is, is what's keeping them protected and what's keeping y'all connected. Okay? But I love y'all so much. Namaste.